Hi, and welcome back to C Programming Skills using Replit. I'm Norman McIntyre. Still on our food menu program. This is going to be version 4, and we will allow payment. Uh, the user can pay by cash, by credit, by crypto. Also, I'm going to throw in here, we'll calculate the price based on how many items they've ordered. And to make it simple, we'll just take the total items and multiply each item by a dollar. So <laughs> kind of be, be like the dollar store uh, except applied to our food menu. So let's let's start on it. So as always, you should have your previous video, have already watched it, and have your program running at version 3. Uh, we've got it where it, it uh, prompts you for the specials. Uh, you can determine delivery or takeout, and you can enter, for example, choose an apple, choose a burger, and quit. So what we want now is when we quit from this menu item, what we want to do is display the total amount, which I said we'll add a dollar. We'll basically say each one's a dollar. And then we will prompt to see how they want to pay for it. So let's handle both of those. Uh, this is going to be version four of our program. So let's uh, scroll on down. We'll come down out. So at this point, we've taken the order so what we want to do is um, add items and calculate uh, price. So basically add the items and calculate the price. And as I said, for the purpose of this, we'll just make everything a dollar and, uh, and make it simple like that. So what we'll do is, uh, so that we need to do that. And after we do that, we'll need to prompt or we'll need to handle the payment man method. So handle payment method. All right, those are two things. So let's first focus on uh, calculating the price. And what I'm going to do is remember in the previous video we had these items and I copied them into my buffer. So uh, I'm going to do that here. And what I will do is paste all those right here. But I'm going to say my integer total is going to be equal to, I'll take the num apples that we've got, plus I'll take my num burgers, right? Because for, for, for simplicity, we're just going to add everything up. So we'll say plus the num corn. And then I'll say plus. And notice I'm not going to put a semicolon. I'm just going to come to the next line and continue on say we'll have the plus the, the drinks and then plus uh, these num extras and then we'll say plus uh, the num fries all right so notice this was a case I did not want to put the semicolon in fact this is one of the advantages of uh, the, the semicolon terminates the statement, so that means you can indeed go across multiple lines if needed. So what we'll do in this case, we'll say um, printf, maybe we'll, we'll show the user the total. Uh, so we'll say printf, your total is percent %d backslash um, percent %d backslash n, I'll say percent %d dollars. So we'll say the total, right? And, and just as a quick test, before you go any further, you can click on run, do a no, do a takeout. Uh, let's do an apple and a burger and a quit. And it says we've got a total of $2, right? Because we got an apple and we got a burger. So your total is $2. So now we want to handle the payment method. And... Um, we we could write a function like we've been doing, right, to handle the payment method. Uh, in this case, just to show us some variety, I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to say printf, uh, select your payment method. So select your payment method. And then we will, uh, of course, we'll go have a integer c for our character equals 
get and actually you know we should give them a choice here so I'll say we'll do it like this we'll say printf ah type is not very good right now so printf uh, we will say do a one for cash do a two for charge and do a three for crypto all right, those will be our, our three choices that we allow someone to do. So then we'll do the get char. The get char. And we'll say, um, we could here, now at this point, we could do an if statement. We could do a, a switch statement. I think uh, I'll do a switch statement since we've only used a switch statement once. So I'll do the switch. But first, I'm going to do the get char. Remember our eat the return slash enter and then I'll say okay so cash charge crypto and then I'll say um, okay so get the char um, so let's do the switch so we'll say switch based on what well based on C All right that's gonna be our switch and we'll say uh, let's do the case. If you enter a one, we're going to handle cash. So I'll I'll just say put string uh, to do handle cash, and then I'm gonna do a break. Notice I put all that on one line. You don't see that quite as often, but it's okay. I could say case two put string to do. So if you do that, we'll say we're going to handle um, charge card, handle charge, and then do a break. So I got that. And again, the break breaks you out of the switch statement. So your next step is here. And then we'll say case, um, case three, put string to do, handle crypto. And again, we break out of that. Now, otherwise, you've got some kind of error. So I'll say default put string to do handle error. Right, so we'll have the handle error. Okay, so with that, we could actually click on run. I'll say no. I'll say delivery, I'll say apple, burger, and quit, and I'll specify cash. And to do, oh, well notice that, it said cash, and yet it said, so I, I thought I entered a one, and oh, and you see why I chose to do this. This is actually a very common error. So, you know, here we are talking about enter a one, a two, or a three, and 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 it's very easy to fall into the trap. And I get this question a lot uh, when you're on this assignment. So that's why I'm stressing it now. The number one, when you type a one here, that's the ASCII character. It's the ASCII character one. So what we really meant to put is the single quotes around here. Because we're looking for the character. You entered the character not the the value the one two three as a number but re, re, rather the ascii character so now when i do this and i say uh, we'll just order say an apple and quit where our total is a dollar select your payment method i'll say cash it says to do handle cash all right so uh, again I, I pointed this out because i've seen this error so many times getting confused of of characters right it's get char get character so you're getting the actual ascii the american standard code for information interchange the you're getting that character and the single quote has the character here so putting the the single quote uh, okay so at that well you know we'll assume you've entered the correct payment information and i would say for this video uh, at this point, 
uh, we can leave leave this one. I guess we'll have a, a, a shorter video compared to the others, but this will at least get us to our version four. Um, I think you might could even say instead of just giving the total dollars, you could actually print uh, each uh, your your total is. You know, it might make even sense to do this. We could say um, print f and yeah, definitely add this your order is all right and what we could do is say if the num apples in fact we could say if zero does not equal num apples then that means we have got apples right and so what we could say is print f so print f um, Uh, num apples percent D backslash n and notice what's nice about this num apples we're only doing that if you ordered apples and in fact what we could do is copy this code and paste it here and say you know what I'm going to do the exact same thing with the num burgers and say num burgers so num burgers. So and and I'm gonna put a to do now. You should to do handle other uh, cases too. In other words, go ahead and handle the the corn and the the drink and so forth. But here's what you've got by doing it like this. If I run this and I say uh, I'm just gonna order an apple and I'm gonna quit. Notice it says your order is one apple and my total dollars is one dollar. As opposed to, let me click on stop and run this again. Say yes, no, well, I uh, typed in the wrong thing there. But anyway, uh, I order an apple, I order a burger, and I quit. Notice it says um, your order is, oops, let's see, the burger. Your order is num apples. Oh, I did not the. Uh, oh yeah, and then num burgers. Yeah. So your order is num apples, num burgers. In fact, I'm gonna put a new line here. Right. Put a new line there. Remember, you can pause the video if I'm going too fast. Let's do it again. No uh, delivery. Apple burger, and uh, quit. So here's my order. I ordered one apple. I ordered one burgers. Again, you should add, go ahead and expand these if statements because after all, that's the topic of this lesson is using these if and the switch statements. And then we'll choose crypto and, of course, to do handle crypto. So thanks for making it this far. Got our version four. Only got one more version after this. So more to come. Final version in the next video. I'm Norman McIntyre. Thanks as always for watching.